Even though they aren't going that much over the speed limit, obviously if you're driving under the influence, you should get fined and probably go to jail. I'm not quite sure how that works in all states. But we're going to set the influence to a base of 10. I should do that. I'm going to make this bigger. <laughs> I really don't. People should drive safe. I'm going to make this 100. Yeah, good. Yeah, cool. Plus 100 to make sure that they at least get that. I think what's next is just, yeah, we're just going to be calculating the final, wow, we're going to go to the final, final charge. Now, it seems like we've calculated a lot of stuff, but this is going to be really easy. We just say fine equals zone fine plus under age plus base plus Influ. Influ. Right. So that is all of our calculations, but now we want to make sure that all of the information that we've calculated is displayed neatly for the police officers so we can quickly assess the situation and write out that ticket. Um, we're going to be, I'm just going to write a comment here, we're going to be displaying the data. Yes, data. And now we're gonna use our simple system dot out print out prints system dot out prints yep system dot out dot print and we're gonna put a new line. Now we're gonna be doing this thing called concatenating, and we're gonna be concatenating just a simple phrase plus a variable. I'm gonna show you how do we do that inside these little prints. So we have to write down what the variable that we're giving them is. We're gonna say last name and semicolons and now we're going to use a plus and that concatenates these that this puts these two separate strings together so that way they can be displayed in our command prompt plus last name yeah because we are programmers and we're all about efficiency we are going to be just doing some copy pasting here first name and put, oh, we gotta put these together. Then we do our age. Then we do our, I'll put driver here, just clarify. Speed limit. Actual speed. Uh. Oh no, what's going on? Stop. Good. Then, what? Misplaced a semicolon. My goodness. We're going to type in our how much over they're going. I know they could probably just do subtraction themselves, but we're going to make this super easy. Miles per hour over limit. Plain old over. No, don't need to do that. Okay. We're going to do our base. That's without the the crazy other finds. We're going to do the then just our specific finds. So we have our con construction zone fine. Just have to remember what you used for each zone fine. 
we have our underage. This is taking a while, I don't know you guys. But that's why it's such a good starting program, because you're just like kind of just typing things and getting used to using Notepad++ and getting used to this language. Under age. Influ under influence line. And lastly, oh, we made it, you guys. This is the last, last line of code that we have. It's so beautiful. Let's just hope it compiles. Total fine. Wow, you know what we have to do? We have to, we should slap in, slap in some dollar bills, dollar signs so they know what's going on. Dollar, 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 dollar. So fine. Dollar. Don't need dollars for over limit, actual speed, speed limit, driver age, last name, first name. Okay. We're gonna try this out. Make sure that you have these last two little brackets at the end here. And we're gonna save our program. Save. And we are going to go to our command command prompt. Once again, we have to get to our desktop if you close out of your command prompt. Otherwise you might already be in the desktop. And we're gonna compile Java. Egg. The name ticket dot Java so it knows what file it is. <gasps> it's the end of the world. No, it's not. It's fine. There's only twelve errors. You're like only twelve errors, but actually that's not many errors. <laughs> You're gonna see so many more. All right, so we're just gonna see. Ah, all right. First name is obviously not an int. Where does it? What am I even testing? So first name says it's not even an int. So I did not change the variable that we're assigning right here to age. That's a simple mistake because we're copy pasting. You're gonna see some copy pasting errors. So I'm gonna save that. And this might actually knock out a couple of stuff. So the thing about command prompt is it saves if you use your arrow up and arrow down keys what you typed in previously. So I'm just gonna arrow till I see my job back, press enter. Cool, less errors. Yeah, I'm just gonna be going through this um, error fixing, debugging with you because you're gonna be seeing stuff like this on your own and it's good to get used to it. Once again, incompatible types, actual speed. We need to have the word int there. And that is Java 45. You have these handy dandy line numbers. Oh, please just always have them displayed. Oh, Actual speed, this is also going to be an int problem. Oh. It's not int next, it's next int. It's good that we're seeing problems or errors. Now we only have nine. Int cannot be defined, else if. Huh. Oh, yes, that's right. We have to use the word influence instead of infla because. We were prompting the police officer to type in a string for if the violator was under the influence or not. So when we are doing the or right here, we have to use the word influence. Now just think of how many errors just that accumulated. Like that's a bunch. That's gonna eliminate a ton of ton of jargon that looks just terrifying to you. And yep. I'd say for me, at least, 80% of the time, syntax. You forgot a semicolon. The world ends without a semicolon. You forgot a bracket. That happens too. Especially with the else and if and else if statements. If you get sloppy with those. Save. That should be a bunch. Go back to Javec. <gasps> now we only have one error. Wow, that eliminates so much. Okay. So we're like, oh my gosh, age, I don't understand, but you know, just turn it to lowercase age. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Try compiling it again. 
Ah, more errors. Okay, a variable zone may not have been initialized. Oh, uh, more copy pasting issues. All right. So this thing that we thought that we just um, forgot that it was an int or not is actually supposed to be a string. This should say zone, right? This string is called zone. Zone right there. Was violator in construction zone. And that is not an int, that is a string. Then this should say influence, influence, and it's not an int. Sometimes by solving some errors, you get more errors, which is good because then it, it's running through your program more. And wow, it looks like that's the only issue. Okay, and compiles, but looking over this again, I see that even though I'm talking about under, under the influence here, I'm still assigning a new um, a value to the zone fine when I'm not even talking about the zone. So I'm going to put infl because we are changing the value of the influence. Influence fine. Okay. Now I think we're good for sure. Let's run this and I'm just going to do a little cheat here, use my arrow keys to get rid of the C and delete Java. All right, enter last name, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog? Is that how you spell hedgehog? Yeah, it is. Enter first name, Sonic. I still don't know when Sonic was first made, let's say 29, speed limit, 70. Actual speed, Sonic's going blue blur, 200 miles an hour. Was violator in construction zone? Yes. Was violator under the influence? No. Alright, here we go. Last name, first name, age. Speed limit, actual speed, yes. 200 take away 70 is 130. Base fine is 130 times 10. As you remember, we assigned that value. Where did we assign that? Because Sonic is going over 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, it's over 130 times 10. Yep. Construction zone fine. Uh, where, where are you? Yeah. Okay. So that's base. Base fine. Which is 1,300 times 5. That is indeed 6,500. Good job. Underage, zero. Influence fine, zero. Total fine. What is, what is, what? Oh, that's just these two numbers added together. Wow, get it. 7,800. Right on, we did it right. You have just created your first functioning Java program. Congratulations, and guess what? I'm also gonna be putting this program up on like a Word doc or something some way that you can access it and compare it to what you you made and go ahead and explore with the system that out prints try to add some maybe new conditions if you're doing something else wrong on the road maybe you have like a your turn signals on when it's not supposed to be or vice versa please comment rate subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you later on java seal